Horrible things happen all our lives, we all experience loss and death and trauma. Usually, most people, I think, we just get on with it. We don't have a whole soliloquy in the middle of something. Divorce is always terrible, but I haven't met anyone who went through it and isn't happier now. I'm a huge Breaking Bad fan, I would be really annoyed if anyone told me anything about what was going to happen in the last 8 episodes. Burpees are great, but they just kill you. What's great about Game of Thrones is they change the perspective, the POV, all the time. So you will have one story told by one character and you'll go, oh my god, horrible, and then maybe the season after you have the same story told but from the person you thought was just the most horrible, vile creature. I know nothing more annoying when people I don't know jump to conclusions on my person based on nothing but gossip or speculation. My mom was a librarian, and my dad worked in Greenland. A villain to me is someone who actively seeks to hurt someone or does things for his own gain. I'm in a monogamous relationship and have been for many, many years. I think it's a choice. I don't think you can generalize, though, and what works for me may not work for other people, but I don't think everybody cheats. We're all different. There's a recent film, the Swedish movie, Force Majeure. I just thought it was brilliant. I couldn't pick up a sword and go fight anyone, let me put it that way. It's choreography and it's acting. The best sword fights you see look amazing, but it's the acting that sells it more than anything. Fart jokes still work for me. When I was a kid I was always afraid of small dogs, because they always seemed like the ones that would attack. Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to be an actor. If you look at most of the royal houses in Europe, the inbreeding was pretty outstanding. I like to be comfortable. I think we all have the capacity of evil in us. I like to wear beautiful clothes, but I don't have that many. I'm a fan of great storytelling. There's something liberating about watching someone not following the rules. As an actor, secrets and obstacles fuel the character. I was 15 or 16 when I first saw Once Upon a Time in America, so I was quite young, but I was completely blown away. What I love about acting is that you are exposed to so many different things. Horse riding, sailing, traveling to amazing places. I try not to regret too much. I find that feeling guilty takes up so much of my time already. I love political dramas. I love good storytelling. The only thing I find difficult to watch, horror movies, not that I don't like them. Like The Shining, it's one of my favorite movies, but it's terrifying. I feel like I've watched a marathon afterwards. The more secrets and twists in a character, the better. I've never understood why you would turn down a great role. You always dream of being part of a show that reaches and thrills an audience. One thing George R. 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 Martin does is surprising things to main characters, but he says so himself. Most female actresses will have a very difficult time being made unattractive. All actors tend to be the same messed up people. It's beautiful being out in the wild. I think what's great is that, when HBO commit, they go in all guns blazing. They attract the very best set designers, the whole thing. I did a network show in the US before, and I loved it, but you have 8 days to shoot an episode, and it's just a ridiculous pace. Most of us have been in that situation where you've been falling in love with somebody who didn't feel the same way. It's not a nice situation. Usually, on a show like Game of Thrones, you don't have much time to rehearse, a lot of the sets are not available. When someone you love is in pain, you want to do anything to comfort them. I always wanted to be an actor, but I just never told anyone. I had this superstition that if I said it out loud, it wouldn't come true. I love team sports. You have to be sharp when the camera's rolling. I want to be totally unselfconscious, like a child playing. I do as much prep as possible so I can lose myself for those seconds. There's a Danish architecture firm called Big. I love architecture, and I always check out their work, they're very good at reimagining the way we live. They put the human experience as the focus, with access to air and outdoor space. I like to read everything, really, especially autobiographies. Tina Fey's autobiography is very, very funny and very well written. It's her life story, it's about how she grows up in New York. There's no obvious reason why I should enjoy this, I mean, this is the autobiography of a woman in her early 40s in New York. I'm a guy from a small town in Denmark. 
I can't imagine life without my wife, but I don't think you should get a prize for staying together a long time. I love skiing. I work a lot abroad and have the most wonderful family and kids, but being away, you do miss out sometimes. I really hope I won't regret the choices in the future. I haven't really got any hidden talents. I don't necessarily enjoy being at the gym. It's something I have to do, more than something I look forward to doing. But it does enable me to do fun things. Still, to this day, I can't run on the treadmill. Why not just run outside? I never understood it. Visit our website for more quotes. Quoting.com